Hey everyone, it's me again, Anyway Black Swan, back with another video, and this is gonna be about this hair right here. I posted this hair on my Instagram, and girl, was no denying it. This is a look. Like, this hair, who gonna check me, boo? Who? Oh. So, this is from the company Long Q hair, long Q hair. I'll have the information down below. I am completely sorry if I'm mispronouncing the name and coming off a little disrespectful, but I don't know how to pronounce it. But this is the company right here, and this is the hair. Like, curl. Every once in a while, I said this in a previous video. Hair gets me excited. But every once in a while, some hair is just like, oh yeah, this is it right here. This is it. So, um, long Q here, long Q hair sent me, I want to be incorrect on my measurements, sorry. I had it written down. It's Malaysian Body Wave, and I got 16, 18, and a 20 inch, three bundles. And then I got a closure that's 16 inches and on the closure basically is where my ponytail is falling that's where the whole circumference of the closure is and you can see that so went ahead and put it up and i i learned that i have to do my ponytail my little ponytail hair sir wait a minute this hair right here is supposed to be covering up this rubber band it's coming loose she's coming a little loose there she goes okay so i learned that for me personally, when I want to do a ponytail look and I want it to be sleek, I have to do it on my canvas head. If you're new to styling wigs, a canvas head is like a fake head. You can go on Amazon, you can get like the measurements of your head. So I have a 24 inch canvas head and um, I made it into a wig. I got a regular dome cap wig it says wig cap on the package i got that i sold the closure on to said cap and then i took um hair glue and glued on the tracks so um if you're really not too handy with the needle and thread to where you can really make your wigs lay down like this i recommend gluing the bundles it sucks because you really can't reuse because you have to cut the bundle but if you want a certain look and you can afford to just have the bundles on one wig cap and not really recycling it and you're not planning to get an install later then go ahead and glue it because like it does give you a more late look it's not as bulky I'm not as good as laying down hair when I'm sewing it so and it also looks faster too because girl I don't have time to spend two hours making wigs every night so I just glued it on it's super secure she ain't going nowhere so I just glued it on I used the th the 30 second the 30 second drying glue and so I used that blow dried it on every time I got done laying down a uh, portion of the track I might do a video on that it's super easy and super quick and my wigs have been coming out amazing so um let me know down in the comments if that's something that you'll be interested in seeing me do or because a lot of people they do it anyway so i don't even know if i would be like telling out anything new so anyway i did that i made the wig now let me spill a little tea a lot of the malaysian hair i've noticed Okay, bundles for me, I don't think bundles are supposed to be shedding. Me, personally, I don't think bundles should shed. But, my experience with getting all these new wig companies coming my way, some of that Malaysian hair really do be shedding. It really does. And I understand why a bundle with is shedding. Because, like, you should be, like, sealing it off and stuff. But anyway, I've been getting that on some of my, um, on some of my bundles. I send it right back because that's ridiculous. And um, wigs, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Because sometimes I really do like the wig, but it sheds. So it's kind of like one of the things that's like, which one of the lesser evils? You know what I mean? But um, when it comes to bundles, I don't tolerate any shedding. 
and uh, this hair shed not at once. I'm very, very happy with it. I This is the end of the day and I've been wearing her out since nine o'clock this morning. I put her on around like nine, 9.30 and she wore really good. The lace was really easy to bleach and pluck and she's very very forgiving and for me to call some lace forgiving it really is forgiving because i don't care what you think when you see me install some hair i be struggling i struggle a lot when i'm installing my wigs and i'm trying to make my wig lay down and stuff i be struggling girl you don't know how many takes i be taking when i'm trying to get this hair laid so yeah um it did a really good job. I'm really happy that I was very forgiving when it bleached the knots because I do the most simplistic method of bleaching possible. Trust me, because I've looked to see if anything is simpler than the way I do it. That's the simplest way to do it. So yeah, I'm extremely happy. It was very forgiving. Um, I put it on the canvas head, made the ponytail because like I'll secure it. I'll secure, I make the wig, I'll secure it on the canvas head and then put the like, um, the T pins in and then I pull it. I pull it and gel it down because I want it to be slick and then I just take it off and my wig is already like in the shape that I need it and I put it on, lay it down and then I'm good to go. So this hair, it says 20 inch. I feel like it is exactly 20 inches. They're not giving me anything extra and they didn't cut anything less off. The ends, most importantly, the ends. Are healthy there's no there's not a split in nowhere so long Q beauty did I say the beginning of the beauty oh long Q hair I think I was looking at the email when I was writing it down but long Q hair they did that they have very very good I don't know about their other hair girl I don't all I know is about the hair they sent me this Malaysian hair is top-notch it's great day get some good hair if it was a horse, it would be a stallion. So, um, I don't think I can give it a higher rating because all day long I'll be getting compliments on this hair. Oh, it's so nice to be in love with your hair. It just really makes your day go so well. So yeah, I highly recommend. I'll put all their information down below in the description box. I haven't had any tangling either. I forgot um, to tell you that too. I haven't got any tangling. Mind you, I like to ride with the windows down. So I haven't got any tangling. And also I curled it last night with um, my flat iron. So it wasn't like really tight curls. It was kind of loose curls. And then throughout the day she dropped. So this is how it looks with one curling and then riding around with it so I have really nice waves mind you when I first made the wig when I got to like the fourth weft I could see it was gonna be a bad wig like I could tell I was like oh this is gonna be baddie because it was laying down so perfectly the hair um the way it processed it it was very conditioned it had a nice natural sheen to it and I just I'll let you see for yourself okay the way it looks order it I recommend this hair. I highly recommend it. Order it. Because um, I know some of y'all graduations are coming up. So go ahead and order you some. And yeah, it laid down like, like baby girl. So I do have some of the hair left. Let me go ahead and see if y'all can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is the hair's natural wave pattern. And also, it is a silky texture. It's a silky texture. So, um, some people, they like a kinkier texture. That's not the hair for you. This is a very silky texture. When you have it on, it is, it's going to give you a lot of body and movement. Um, so yeah, if that's not your judge where you don't like silky hair, you like a little more coarseness to it. This is that, this is definitely not the hair for you for long hair. It has no, I know some of y'all people who don't wear weave, um, kind of like think, oh, it's going to itch. It's going to make me feel uncomfortable. Honestly, 
this hair is very soft and nice so you're not gonna get any itching because I had some girl say that she's like oh it's like a lot of hair it must be itchy nope no um it's not itchy I don't feel way down I don't feel mass I don't feel suffocated it feels like butter so I don't know what to tell you. It's really, really good, high quality hair. It really is. Because if it wasn't, I wouldn't be on here telling you about it. So, yeah. Um, I'm just going to leave it at that. And I hope this helped you decide on your next wig purchase. Oh, yeah. Let me show you the bag. Before I get off camera, let me show you the bag, girl. Okay, so yeah, it's good hair. Trust and believe. It is. Very, very nice, good hair. So yeah, check them out. All the information will be down below and I will see y'all on the next video. Bye.